guys, we're back here with the bearing. So we've got the little nose on here, which comes off, used with magnets. Got the front nose gear installed. I've dry fitted this in the sail right here to cover the motor. I've also got the motor mounts now, so I'll be installing the motor mounts. I might not show that's how it's done, but I'm going to actually show you how I did it. Uh, this motor mount uh, I've used for the last couple of years here. It's uh, come in small, large, extra large, or extra small. So you can get like a size 480 motor or all the way up to a power uh, 160 size motor. Uh, these always work great for me. It's adjustable. I have one that's outside the box here somewhere. I left it probably on the building table outside. Uh, so we had Mr. V do the cockpit, which everything's looking excellent. I put the wings uh, center section on right here. I, I ran into a little problem here, which was my own uh, problem or fault, I should say. I When I went to line it up, when I was drilling the back holes, instead of me drilling a smaller pilot hole, I actually kind of knocked the wood off. So the whole plate came off. So I just re-glued it in there and redid it. But get you guys a side view here. I mean, it's with the nacelle on it. I just put the nacelle on there, so it, it's, it's looking so pretty in scale. I mean, that black really brings out the plane. Hope you guys can see this side view here. Turn it upside down. Got the retracts installed, all three there. I mean, this thing is looking so beautiful. Been a little slow on this project also because I've been in between other things. While Mr. V was doing a cockpit, I kind of <laughs> got into some other uh, projects, which I'm an RC junkie, just like most of you guys that are watching uh, this build video or into my YouTube channel. Uh, been working on A4. As you guys mostly know, I'm always into converting things that were gas or runoff gasoline or kerosene into electric like this Tam Jets A4 which has nothing to do with the bill but I've been paying a lot of attention to this this was actually gray and I'm actually custom painting this so I can show you guys a picture right now of what this scale A4 is supposed to look like So now that you guys seen the A4, I've also been working on a big F4 <laughs> that's eight foot long, which I'll show you a quick picture of a taxi right here. So yeah, so I've been a little busy in between projects. I'm actually juggling three projects at once though. But let's go ahead and finish the bearing up and get this out to the field so we can fly it and see how scale and pretty it looks in the air. I'm going to go ahead and install the motor mount. Then also have the Power 46 motor here that I'll be installing. Uh, as I said about the motor mount. One thing I really like about the motor mount is that it's adjustable. It's made by Electric Fright, which is uh, Great Plains, I believe. The motor mount is actually adjustable. So the I've seen the standoff, the four standoff that people use. Uh, I think those have to be cut down to size. So I've never really used them. This was always working perfect for me. So I've been always using this. I can adjust, slide it on here, 
and adjust it and get the right length I need for the motor to stick out. So it's very easy. Just four little, uh, actually eight Allen wrench bolts on each side, four on each side. So allows it to adjust back and forth. So let me go ahead and install the motor mounts and get you guys a better picture of how it was installed. Uh, and that's what we'll be doing right here in uh, this part of uh, the uh, Composite Beechcraft Banner G58. So as you can see there, these are just held on with vine nuts for the motor mount. And there we have it. The motor mount installed.